Hello everyone, we are group 1 from class 19 DB consisting of Ahmad Alwi, Nabila Puspita, Rifatul Mahmuda, and Vania Dominika. Today we are going to present the direct method, which is one of many methods of language teaching. Here are the main points that we are going to cover in our presentation. First, we are going to look at the background or history of the direct method such as who the founder is and when it was established. Next, we are going to look at what the direct method is about and how it works. And we are also going to see its characteristics and key features. So the direct method was established by a German linguist, Maximilian Berlitz, in late 90th until early 20th century as a reaction to grammar translation method. Unlike grammar translation method that focuses on memorizing, learning, and analyzing the rules of a language, the direct method focuses on learning the actual practicable use of the language. And as its popularity increased, it later became known as the Berlitz method. Direct method is a method of second or foreign language learning that focuses on the ability to use rather than to analyze the language. It suggests that foreign language learning should be more like first language learning. Lots of oral interaction, spontaneous use of the language, no translation between first and second languages, and little or no analysis of grammatical rules. This method was developed as a response to a grammatical translation method. The approach of direct method, learners should acquire rules of grammar inductively through imitation, repetition, speaking, and reading. Next, here we have five characteristics of the direct method. First, instruction was conducted exclusively or directly in the L2. Second, oral communication and listening skills were taught in small classes. Third, methodology consisted mainly of modeling and practice. Fourth, everyday, easily identified vocabulary was used. The last, grammar was taught inductively. Key features of the direct method Number one, no use of the mother tongue is permitted. The example, the teacher doesn't need to know the student's native language. Number two, lessons begin with dialogues and anecdotes in modern conversational style. Number three, actions and pictures are used to make meanings clear. Number four, grammar is learned inductively. The example, by repeated exposure to language in use, not true rules about forms. Number five, literary texts are read for pleasure and are not analyzed grammatically. Number six, the target culture is also tough inductively. Number seven, the teacher must be a native speaker or have native-like proficiency in the target language. Here is the summary to wrap up our presentation today. The direct method was established by Maximilian Berlitz in late 90th until early 20th century. The method focuses on learning the use of the language by teaching the grammar and culture inductively or through high exposure to the use of the target language, not through memorizing or analyzing its rules. And here are the references that we use in the making of our presentation. So that's all we have for you. Thank you very much for watching.